Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. I have something important, something that made me happy last night. I didn't sleep, I was dancing. I was happy throughout the night. Because something happened, something good happened. When something good happened, you must thank the person that did it. And I'm not enemy of progress. Don't say, ah, see, I want you enemy of progress. You are, you are rejoicing because uh, something bad has happened to something bad has happened to your enemy no 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 number one i don't have enemy i don't know how enemy to look like my life we can fight we can fight we we talk against each other we speak bad about each other and it ends there i don't have enemy politically spiritually the same way i don't have friends is the same way i don't have enemy no one is my enemy no one is my friend yesterday i saw a picture of honorable chito Tela in prison oh my god i was so happy <laughs> It's looking like a, a baboon. <laughs> ah, the thing gave me joy, you know. I said, yes, this is what we fought for. This is what we, we cried for. I don't feel pity for politicians when they go to jail. Because when they are stealing, if you tell them, they don't listen. I don't know if you are hearing me loud and clear. Please share the broadcast. Share it quickly. Now, 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 now. I have good news for everyone. Whether you are in the ruling government, ruling, you ruling government or the opposition, I have good news for you. So, yesterday was a very, very busy day for me. I was at the office and I received so many people from all over the world. I was attending to them one after the other. When I finished the work, I, I came back home midnight. I, I just logged on Facebook. I saw the picture of Tito Tela, you know, flooding Facebook, looking like a baboon. Hey, <laughs> I was happy. You know that uh, when HH won election, I told him, sir, start jailing these people. Start jailing these people. Look, no matter the matter, a thief is a thief, a criminal is a criminal. The reason why Africa is poor, the reason why we don't go anywhere, is not because we don't have money. <coughs> we have money. Our leaders are borrowing billions, apart from the money that our natural resources is generated. Our leaders are borrowing billions. And when they borrow that billion, they don't use it for the people. They don't use it for the people. They use it for themselves. You will see one political leader having 30 gay friends. All of them are driving big cars. They are using the money that is meant to build in our road to buy cars for politicians. You will see illiterates. That's why our young ladies refuse to go to school because they want to be they want to be uh, uh, side chicks to politicians. They don't go to school 
they are they always on on TikTok, they always on on Instagram, they always wearing seductive clothes, going from political office to the other to go and seduce politicians so that they can start sleeping with politicians because they know once they start doing that, automatically our useless leaders that we call leaders in africa we start giving them our money using our money to send them to dubai using the people the people that deserve to go to dubai will not afford to go to dubai the people that will go to dubai are young young girls sponsored by our politicians with our money the money that is meant to use to do work for us to do our road you see a politician he has 100 cars how much is your salary <laughs> eh? when ordinary people come to your office please help me help me you tell them there is no money in fact you don't even open your office for them but if it's prostitutes if it's prostitutes you be the first one to buy them business class to go to dubai and when they go to dubai they will post pictures in the beaches they will post pictures in the hotels they put their fellow young ladies under pressure pushing them to commit immoral because of the life that you are sponsoring if you ask them oh, oh, why don't you go to school you say no did my did messi go to school but see she's in dubai she's in dubai using our net our money money that politicians stole all of you that are feeling pity for chito Tola, you are fools no one supposed to feel pity for a political criminal the reason why politicians take advantage of us is because they know that once they are served their consequence, people will feel pity for them. If you are feeling pity, if you saw that picture yesterday and you are feeling pity for Chito Tela, you are a fool. Criminals must rot in jail. And it's so painful because the court is corrupt yes the court is corrupt jailing somebody that stole millions for three years for five years that is corruption jailing somebody that stole millions millions you built a house what 22 million quarter you don't have source of, you don't have a, a a backing something that proves that this is how you receive the money please you are a criminal you are supposed to go in life imprisonment this is going to serve as uh, i look i i'm happy with what is happening i'm happy with how criminals are being jailed i am still waiting for chishimba kambiri to go in chishimba is just pretending he's so he's he's pretending he must go inside and he will be treated inside. I'm still waiting for Bowman Lusambo to go in. Bowman Lusambo must go in. There are so many of them uncountable. Dora Celia deserves to go in. In case you have forgotten, Dora Celia is the one that did the mess saga. His counterpart in, in Malawi was persecuted, arrested, and jailed. But in Zambia, Dorasilia has not been arrested. Dorasilia must go in. There are so many of them that stole. They stole billions upon billions. They must go in. Stephen Campiongo must go in. When you are doing like this as a government in power, then people that voted for you are going to be happy. I am happy. I'm not saying I'm entirely happy with the UPND government, but the one I saw last night, I said, thank you, Lord. <laughs> At least these are people who we are 
insulting me. These are people who were calling me all sorts of names. They were saying, ah, see a one, see a one, you are you are a fool. See a one, you will not do anything. With the power is for us. It's infinity. Infinity, where is it? So all of them must go in. They must go in, all of them, and not just Chito Tela. I'm happy with the condition of Chito Tela. How, is, how he went from the freshest guy, uh -huh. that, that uh, uh, all the side chicks wanted, it's not looking like a babu. I don't think that there is anybody that want him now. With the way he's looking. All the money, that is to but let me tell you he still has money he still has a lot of money he's just hiding it Tito Tela still has a lot of money he's just pretending he'll go in again when he come out that case will be reviewed. That year they gave him is nothing. Big criminals deserve big punishment. You cannot jail somebody that uh, stole tomato for 20 years. Somebody that stole food stock for 20 years. Someone that smoked weed for 20 years and jail a criminal that stole million for three years, for five years. We are not going to allow that to happen. Criminal deserve maximum punishment. This also serve as an eye opening to the Minister of Agriculture, Mtolopiri. My brother, the current minister of agriculture in UPND. My brother, let me tell you this. You should just be preparing yourself. Telling your family the kind of food they are going to be bringing to you in prison. As for going to prison, you are going. That one is not, not even God can stop that. Not even all the angels in heaven can stop that. Honorable Mteropi, the current Minister of Agriculture in UPND, my brother, look at Chitotela, look at yourself. But Chitotela is going to be better than you because, unfortunately, UPND government woke up late. Because when 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 you, uh, you pay the one election, I told the church, nah, I start jailing, start jailing. They said, no, no, it's not like that. We don't want to send the proceeding of jailing this. I said, oh my dear, <laughs> you give us one promise and you are doing another thing. Continue. You are going to wake up late. There was even a time I suggested that Edgar Lungu immunity be removed and the jailed. They said, no, no, no. That time they just won a lesson. No, 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 no. We don't want to do that. It will look bad. It will look like a winch hunt. <laughs> Today, the winch hunt has turned around to hunt you. Because you did not listen to me. UPN did not know politics. You know absolutely nothing about politics. Us that know politics. Us that play the game for you to be in power. We are telling you how politics is done. And you are telling us, no, no, no. HH wanted to rule Zambia like a Roman Catholic Church. All his ministers are going to be Holy Spirit. Then him, uh, when somebody says, I praise the Lord, hallelujah. <laughs> no, 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 that's not politics. Politics is a tough game. In politics, you don't allow your opponent to breathe. Whether, please, that is how it is in Africa, even in America. How many times was Donald Trump shot? Shot! Shot to be killed. That is politics. Politics is for the brave. Politics is not a church. Politics is not a, it's not a, 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 a business. I said it in 2021 after winning the election. Arrest these guys. 
there was enough evidence there is a hand that you give to them they will confess themselves they will tell you where they kept the money no we are not going to do that what 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 okay now the winter hunt is now hunting your PND. Let me tell you this. Edgar Lungu now is a time bomb. In case you don't know politics, I know that uh, our friends in UPND do not know politics. Uh, don't know politics at all. If you know politics by now, Edgar Lungu was not even going to be there. <laughs> He, he, would, he was just going to be in his house relaxing. He was going to run away from politics completely. That's why immediately UPND won the election. Eddie Galungu resigned. Eddie Galungu said, no, I'm out of politics. Because he knew what was on the way coming. But unfortunately, the people he was running away from we are cowards also. Amateurs, business people that don't know politics. When he realized that these guys don't know politics, he came back. And now he has come back very hot. And Eddie Galungu is like a, a mosquito that has perched on the scrotum. It's now like a mosquito perching on the scrotum. How to kill it is a problem. If you beat it very hard, your scrotum will break. If you pet it by not beating it hard, it will fly away. You miss both. If you say Ed Galungu is not going to stand, Ed Galungu is not going to be on the ballot. Anyone that Ed Galungu campaigns for is a time bomb. For example, you say Ed Galungu is not going to stand. Ed Galungu decide to give Dr. Fred member support. <laughs> Chances of UPND coming back to power is 50-50. But when the time I was saying it, even ordinary idiots that we are hiding, fools that we are hiding, they didn't campaign with us. They didn't understand what we went through to put a church in power. Fools like Simon Mwewa, he starts saying, ah, see a one, see a one, he say, he say this, see a one, leave our country alone, see a one, talk about it. Fools, fools that we are, we are, we are enjoying with the PF. Fools that we are eating with Eddie Galungu. Fool. I mean, people that we are we that hated the church so much. When I was talking it, they 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 pretend like they love a church. Simon, Kelvin Sampa. See, I want what are you talking about? See, I want you hate a church. See, I want you hate UPND. Where is the advice today? That thing that I asked UPND to do from the beginning is it not what they are doing now? There was a time uh, uh, on the on, on September 2021, just a month after taking over. A church taking over from PM. I became very angry with the way things we are going. I came and did a live broadcast and said my displeasure about a church is how a church is handling politics. Opportunists like Simon came out and started shouting, You want to divide our country? Please, putting your political opponent where they belong does, is, it does not mean dividing the country. In politics, when you have an opportunity, eliminate your political opponent completely from the scene. Push them out from the ground completely. Remove them. That's what is happening in, 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 in Rwanda. Eh? That's what happened in, in so many countries, even in Nigeria here. Once you have that power, use it well. Make sure that the opposition is not giving space. The reason why UPND came into power is because H -A people deceived Lungu. And Lungu became loose. And we took advantage of that. So the same people gathered and started deceiving a church. No, no, boss, boss, don't follow C1. Don't follow what C1 is saying. No, leave legacy. Legacy to do what? What do you want to do with legacy? You lose power, you have legacy. What will you do with it? Nothing is nothing is better than power. That's why Eddie Galungu said we have learned we are not going to play with power again. UPND has been playing with power because they refuse to listen to me. 
they are they they started working with opportunists. Look at Simon. Look at a person who was openly campaigning for 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 Edgar Lung. Openly working with the PF. Is the one now who fly anywhere the president is going. He goes. What does he know about the vision of HS? Hmm? What does Simon know about the vision of HS? How about the people that knew the vision? People like uh, uh, Mukuka Mukuka in uh, in uh, in uh, in Luapula. Is it because he doesn't know how to speak good English? You think that people that vote they know English? On the day of campaign, Simon will never go and campaign. You will you will never see him in the field. Eh? Spoiled brats will never go and campaign. The people that campaign are the poor, and it's the poor that vote. And the majority of the poor are not educated. Street does not respond to rich, uh, uh, to the rich and the intelligent. You don't speak good English. The people that vote don't hear English. Voters don't hear English. So people deceive the president. No, the, no, this, this, this. Today, where are they? All those things that I, I say must be done. Are yeah, they not the things that are being done now? But it's too late. Edgar Lungu is a time bomb. If you don't know how you treat that case, <laughs> uh, that case is going to bury you behind. If you don't know how to handle that guy, it's a time bomb. Uh -huh. It's because you didn't listen to me. If you listen to me, it was not going to be like that. It was not going to be like that. So this serves as a as a warning, and what is happening to Chito Tela and the most UPF members today will happen to a lot of UPND members. A lot of you have mentioned Toropiri. That one is is going to jail. If that one don't go to jail, eh, know that I'm a fool. And the government that will come after UPND may not be as weak as UPND. You know, UPND can easily be deceived. UPND can easily be deceived. UPND is not strong like PF. PF was a strong party. You know that Simon did everything possible to enter the circle of PF. They didn't allow him because they know that he, he was a coward. He, he was a betrayer. So they just gave him to be moving around like camera. But today, that idiot has managed to find himself in in presidential circle where the president is able... The, the people that fought for the party, the people that died, the, I mean, there are people that lost businesses for the party. They can't even have a, a, a hundred meter uh, uh, interaction with the president. But look at Simon, an opportunist, a criminal. Please, I'm telling you the gospel truth. I, me, you mean that you people say, see a one is a satanist, see a one is occultist. When you see my character, I am open to what I believe. I don't hide. I don't come to you. I say this tomorrow. No, everyone know me. Everyone know my character. But how can you be a church? You call yourself a ch you go to white people's church. You call yourself a believer, but your character is different from what from what you say. To me, I was fighting uh, Edgar Lungu while he was the president. And I stood my ground and said, wrong is wrong. But you call yourself a, a, a vlogger, 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 vlogger. You don't call yourself a police. But today, you are speaking against Edgar Lungu. Edgar Lungu is the hand that fed you. I said it before. Edgar Lungu is the reason why that your mother even breathed. Edgar Lungu gave your mother money, a lot of money. Edgar Lungu bought your mother the VS that she's driving. You yourself, Simon, you use that VS. People don't know that it's not your own. Your mother's VS. It was Edgar Lungu that bought it. If Edgar Lungu once treated me well, I can never turn and fight him, even now that he's in trouble. But the people like you that deceived him, you that deceived him, you have abandoned him. You are now after a church. 
because HH has the power. And UPND being a very weak government, a very, a very weak government that anybody can deceive, they have accepted all the criminals, all the opportunists. Look at uh, what the Father Frank Wally. I mean, please, what does that fool know about UPND? Now he's leading the presidential campaign team. What rubbish is this? What nonsense? What does he know about UPND? What does he know about the vision of HH? There are people that fought for HH. There are people that sacrificed for HH. There are people that know the vision. They are UPND. UPND does not lack manpower. UPND won election with 2.8 million people. Are you telling me that right there in UPND, you cannot find somebody that can do the job. Why would you go and get an opportunity to come and speak on behalf of the president? What does Frank Wala know? There is a movie on our there. These are people that understand the vision of the president. If you are looking for somebody that knows how to speak English, there is a movie on our there. Call Anthony back. Call Anthony back from the foreign mission and get, let him handle this. They, they, they knew how to convince the people when we are in opposition. Why have they been taken? Why have they been pushed away? Eh? No, please, Zaf commander is going to jail because you are abusing the state resources by using the plane that's supposed to carry the army, that's supposed to carry the government. You are abusing it to carry a vlogger. What does what is he vlogging? What does he know? If you want a documentary about the country, let Chela Tukuta do it. I know that Chela Tukuta is a baby, like I said the other day. Look, a father cannot fight a son, no matter what. But I know what he can do. During the time we are in opposition, there is no day that he didn't call me. Papa, are we winning? Papa, can we do this? So if you turn around today and call me all sorts of names, I understand him. His frustration. That's why many people, many of you were expecting me to reply him, to insult him. I can't do that. He's a baby. He's still growing up. We are not on the same level. I am still fighting for them. This is not about me. I'm okay. Please. Oh, God of Nazareth. I'm okay. There was a time I received received a phone call from State House saying see a one this was when election was won see a one what do you want I said no I don't want anything the people that fought this battle are not the only one take care of them first I started mentioning them I was told to write the list of all of them I wrote the list and submitted many of them will tell you that they were called by state house they were called how can we appreciate you for what you have done which is very very good when you do a good job you need to be appreciated they were called the musicians knock units they were called uh, Mukuka Mukuka they were called where is that one from uh, the one that is a DC now what is his name the one that was on which year Pataya Skunda they were called those people it was my recommendation to state house to say take care of these people first before me tell her all those are my recommendation and they took care of many of them it's not about me the fight is not just about me what will i gain if i i am doing well and the people that fought with me are not doing well if i uh, what is her name alice musuka ask her they were they were all called it was my recommendation I'm not a greedy person. This is the problem of UPND. Majority of them are greedy. They are greedy. They never look back and look at their soldiers. They don't remember the people they fought with. Even that party has Kunda. Do you know that since he became what he is, DC, he has not called me to say, Papa, thank you. Pateas. He has never called me to say, Papa, thank you for standing with us. He has never. 
He has never called since he became a DC. Not even a text message say, Papa, thank you. That is the mentality of most people in UPND. I realize that HH is not actually the problem. The problem is the people. A majority of the people in UPND are greedy. Once they are put in a position, they forget the people that they, 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 they forget their people, they forget their soldiers, they forget their friends. He has never called. I have his messages when he was complaining, when he was crying. I have Patera Skunda. He said this now. I don't know where. He, Papa, thank you for this, for standing with me. Not nothing. He has gone quiet. He thinks that he has arrived. Many of you will cry. Many of you will cry. I swear upon God, Father. Many of you will cry. You will know. You are the one that is destroying the presidency. HH is just one. Uh, Topsin. Topsin Kunda. He's the one. Topsin Kunda. He has never called me. Papa, thank you. It was my recommendation. I am the one that wrote their names, all of them, and submitted to State House. Many of them were giving money for empowerment. It's not about me. Nothing has come to me from State House since UPND won election. Nothing, not even a single thing. I've not received anything. It's not about me. I'm doing well. I'm okay. So I realize that it's not actually you uh, HH is not the problem here. It's the people that employ, they are very selfish. Once they get into power, once they get into power, they turn their back on their people. To pick call becomes a problem. That's not how politics is done. Politics is about number. You must be able to reach so many people. You must all first of all, all the people that you fought with, all your soldiers, make sure as you are eating, at least there is food in their mouth. Let them be eating until they are established like you. That's how politics is done. Not when you are, you are the moment you get appointment, you change. Some of you even change your phone numbers. Sick. Nonsense. Who are you? You are nothing. Political power is nothing. It doesn't last. Where is Chito Taylor? Is he not the one looking like a babu in the in the in the cell now? Hmm? He's even sick. You can see that he's sick. Huh? He's looking like a babu. Dear in the jail. Mitoropiri is going to join him. The ZAF commander will join him for abusing the state resources. Zambia, ZAF plan is not meant to be carrying vloggers. Not even vloggers. A person that has no single influence. Not even influence. A person that openly stood and campaign against the president those of you that allow access to simon to the president you are fools you don't know politics very soon you are going to be like tito Taylor. you think that power lasts forever who knew on earth that tito Taylor is was going to be in prison today he was so powerful campiongo how about bowman lusambo that was beating people all around <laughs> He, that, what is he that he didn't do to innocent people? Where is he today? He will soon join Tito Tela. To mention but few. What I'm trying to say is that you are not going to be lucky, UPND. The government that will come after UPND will be a serious government that can never be brainwashed. It will be a government that is serious. A government that has thinking capacity. A government, a wise government. A government that cannot be sweet talked. It will be a government that that cannot be uh, 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 cannot uh, uh, I mean the reason why hey, Sylvia Masebo no Sylvia Masebo already her own is life life sentence that I can assure you just just leave the government that 
that will come. They, I mean, imagine if Dr. Fred Member becomes the president. You are finished. That's when you know the type of punishment that politicians deserved. Many of you, it's life imprisonment, life imprisonment, life imprisonment. I'm telling you. Or imagine, imagine uh, uh, you give power to ECL back to them. He, ha he has tested how it is to be in power. <laughs> Many of you are going to be customers to Chimbokaela. <laughs> we'll be coming there to see you. Me, myself, I will come. I'll fly from Nigeria to Zambia just to come and see you in prison and greet you because it's life imprisonment. Don't think that every government will be like UPN. No, 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 no. Every government will not be like you, PN. There will be government that will come that will give you the punishment that you deserve. Not three years in power. Those of you that are eating alone, I don't want to mention your name because I've stopped my fight with the UPN. I'm no longer fighting UPN. I've removed myself from there because the opposition is not serious. But what I'm saying is that many of you, the Minister of Copper Belt, hey, the Minister of Mine, ha, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> The evidence against you is so huge that even if it's Satan that is going to stand as the magistrate, he's straightforward to jail. I feel pity for you. You are the reason why that HH is losing popularity. Once appointed, you, be, you become powerful. You no longer talk to people. HH appointed you so that you can take care of so many people. But after appointing you, what have you done for the people? How many people have you empowered? You sold uh, 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 Kitwe Black Mountain. How many people received empowerment from there? I will leave it here. I won't talk. But let what is happening to Chito Tela be an eye-opening to you. And it, I'm so happy because, look, this is what we campaign. We said when we win election, criminals will go to jail. So it is happening. And the UPND government, continue. This time, be careful. People are watching. When you jail a criminal that stole millions, please, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, this thing of three years must stop. Three years simple imprisonment. After stealing millions upon millions, you are not serious. Please, don't allow us to talk against you. Don't allow us to start politics. I no longer do politics. You, you've seen my hand. I'm concentrating on ministry. Very Glow International. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Good morning. You know? So, God bless you abundantly. I just want to say I'm happy with what is happening. And many, many people are going inside. A lot of people. This is the prophecy I gave to them. I told them that, guys, we are fighting. We are talking with mouth. When we finish talking, I will be in Nigeria. I will be doing well. But you will end your life in prison. That's exactly what is happening. And the many, many others are joining. Both from PF, UPND, it will be worse. <laughs> Same Sam, how are you, my son? I love you so much. God bless you. Please take care of yourself. Share the broadcast. May you live long. May God bless you. May God grant your heart desire. May this Wednesday favor you. When this Wednesday open door for you, may this Wednesday increase you. May this Wednesday grant all your heart desire. May this Wednesday, may you meet a total stranger that will do that which people, friends, brothers and sisters have failed to do for you. People that promised you things but have failed to fulfill it. May this Wednesday, in the name of Jesus, may they do it for you. May total strangers do it for you. God raise total strangers, total strangers, total strangers, total strangers to do it for you. That thing that people have failed to do for you, God is raising total strangers to do it for you. Type them in that comment section. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. Total strangers are coming your way. 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 If you believe, type amen and share this video to claim it. But remember, 
There are a lot of people that are using my name to scam people. Today, they're even calling on video. They use my video to call you on video. When you talk, you think that you are talking to see one. Don't fall victim of scammers. I have only but one phone number. That phone number is there in the comment section. Plus two, three, four, eight, one, four, nine, nine, three, nine, four, eight, four. I pinned it in that comment section. If you have just joined this video or if you are watching, you see where it's written. Do you want to have a direct chat with CR1? Kindly send a WhatsApp message to copy that number now. I pinned it there. Send the message to me. Say CR1, I want you to help me. What help? What help do you need? Is it money that you want? You say. Is it marriage that you want? You say. Any help that you need, you go straight to the point and say it. Don't come and appreciate me or come and start saying see i want how are you uh, please hi hey i don't answer to those messages many of you complain to say see i want i've been writing you don't respond to me maybe you started with hi hey i'm please i'm done of power i don't have time for hi hey go straight to the point and tell me what you want me to do for you share this video may god bless you may god take care of you I just appeared here to say I'm happy with what happened to Chito Tela. If you are not happy, you are a criminal. Because when politicians are stealing, they don't have the heart for the people. So if they go to jail and you feel pity for them, you are you have an utter sign of criminality in you. We should encourage President HH to jail more and more and more and more criminals. This is a good procedure. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.